Hello guys, welcome to today's exercise. Sorry, I'm uh, um, doing the video late. I have a task that I was supposed to complete today. I've been working on the project since, so the project really took my time. So let us just dive straight into the the question. Okay. Question one says you can do this okay it is, it is not good no it is not a good idea for you to free a memory of a string literal okay string literal are typically stored in a read only portion of the memory and an attempt to free them can lead to undefined behavior. Instead, you can use a dynamic allocated array instead. So it is not good for us to free a memory that is in the portion of the read-only file. So it is not good, right? So you can do this also. Still, this is a the, the memory that is located at the, as the, uh, the memory that is located at the read only so it's a string literature that stored typically only read only yeah, it's stored on the only in the read only portion of the memory so since it's in the read only portion of the memory you are not supposed to tamper with it so the answer should be no so they say what is wrong with this code yeah let's go through the code let's go let's go through what is wrong with the code? Okay. Yeah, I've seen it. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah, this my log can fail. It can fail. And then there is no comment. It can fail, so when it can fail, so we should check the return value all the time. Okay, then remember this. I told you if you see this rectangle box, it means that the question you are supposed to answer is not just one, it's more than one, right? So, all you said, and there is no comment, right? Then this number three said, my lock return address. My lock return address, excuse me, is true. So they say my lock return a pointer. Is still true. My lock, sorry, the memory space preserved when calling my lock is only what? It's not on the stack, it's on the heap. Okay. What is what what will you see on the terminal? You okay, if you write this code now, if you put if you write this code on the terminal, what you will see, yeah, it will return an error address. It will return an address of a located. Um, how do I explain this one now? How do I explain this guy now? Okay. Okay. In this case, yeah. In this case, when you are trying, you tr when you are trying to dereference an uninitialized pointer, okay, which means it does not point to a valid memory allocation, right? So the dereferencing, de dereferencing an uninitialized uh, pointer is on the, uh, it will result to undefined behavior and can lead to crash or other unexpected behavior, such as what? Segment fault. So the program will crash and give segment fault okay then 
if I want to copy this string best school into a new space in memory, I can use the statement to reserve enough space for it. Select a all valid. So this uh, 12 malloc is okay. Then this 12, sorry, malloc string, malloc string, malloc string length, plus, malloc string length, best school plus one. Then malloc size best. Then the next question is what to, to allocate enough memories to, all to allocate enough space for an array of 10 integer on a 64 bit Linux machine. I can use dash. Yes, to do that, you can use malloc 10 times size of the ints. Okay, yes. So, number nine say, can I can you can do this? Yes, you can do it. It can work, it can go. Yeah, so let's check our answer and see. Oh, fantastic! So, they are all correct. So, I'll pause the video there and very tired now. I cannot attend to the tax. I'll make sure I, I drop the tax for those that have not done it. Okay, let me check how many. Just be sure. It's no more than five. Yes, it's no more than five. So please subscribe, encourage me, like, comment. Let's keep.